You know, on days like this, I start thinking about how nice the weather it is, and it's mowing season. And mowing season makes me think about one particular tractor. Sold more tractors than any tractor between 39 and 52. You know what tractor that is? You don't? Well, let me show you guys. here a set of uh, in series four tractors we have the eight in we have the nine in probably the two most popular models of, of tractors ever made the production numbers are astronomical the, the the amount that's out there worldwide i don't think there's a continent that doesn't have an eight in nine in or a two in sitting on it somewhere um there are a few differences and we'll go over that here in just a second but the, they revolutionize farming in the simple fact that the three-point hitch that's on the back of these things. Uh, Henry Ferguson came up with that in uh, 1911. Tried it on an early model of the, uh, of the Fortune tractors and it didn't catch on. He sat down and did a handshake deal with Henry Ford on the 9-in model in 39 when, it was start, when they started production of it. And uh, well, let's just say Ford's probably not the guy that you want to do business with. Because when the 8-in came out, Ferguson started to uh, see, the, 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 see the light there, so to speak. And they, they broke into a lawsuit. And the lawsuit carried on for many years and ended up being a, being a settlement of $9 million dollars. And Ferguson walked away after taxes with, with uh, 5.2 million of it. So, a little bit of piece of history there that I don't think a lot of people know about the about the eight in, nine in, two in tractors. But here, let me get off here and let me show you a couple uh, ways that you can tell a difference. What do I have? Do I have a nine in? Do I have an eight in? Do I have a two in? Here, let me show you. So. The easiest way to tell the difference between an 8-in and a 9-in is the rear hubs here. On an 8-in, you're going to have this style of hub with the bolts here in the center. On a 9-in, you're going to have this style with the, with the wider pattern in the, in the, uh, the bigger center in the middle. Now, you may have, an, you may have a 2-in and it will have this same rear end. The difference of it is, is when you get to this point here, you'll see this beam. This is a, a tubular style beam. Now, some a nine ends had that towards the end, and this is a last year nine in, but the majority of two ends all have that. Uh, normally, normally it's like an I beam on a nine in, and that's what my other nine ends out on the lot have. They have that. They have that. Uh, that I-beam style front thing. Um, a nine in, a two in are gonna have a three-speed transmission. A nine, an eight in is gonna have a four-speed transmission. Also, and on, I have one on the lot like this, right here on some nine ends is another level lever, and it's called a Sherman shift, and it gives you a high low. So road speed on this tractor is roughly about 10 miles an hour. And uh, with that Sherman shift, I, I don't know the exact. Uh, I've been told and my research was saying you could get up to 20. I don't know who in the world would want to drive 20 miles an hour on an uh, in-series Ford, but it says that was possible. Um, and according to, uh, tra according to tractor data, uh, the 9-in is 
16 draw bar, 22 PTO. A nine in is 23 draw bar and it is 27 PTO. And PTO, that's gonna matter to you because like I was saying earlier, this time of year makes me think of mowing season and that, and that is what the 99.9% of these tractors are still used for today. Somebody's got 20 acres, 10 acres, five acres, whatever, and a bush hog mower, and that's what these things do. And that shows that they're still, still useful after all these years. And that three point that we were talking about earlier is the exact same three point setup that's on all modern tractors today. I would say one of the biggest developments that ever came to be. Um, that revolutionized farming. I mean, before that it was a draw bar and a trip plow or, you know, you, you, you just drag the piece of equipment across the ground like you do with, those, with the big Wheatland tractors nowadays, you know. And the three point came around and it changed everything. By that top link on the three point, it puts the pressure of, of, a, of a collision if you hit a big rock while you're plowing or something on the front wheels instead of putting it down on that draw bar well you hit a big rock with plowing with a draw bar tractor that pushes down on the back of the tractor that brings the front end up which gives you a high possibility of a rollover on top of you the old fergusons had uh on the back fenders had a little kick out right here and that was to keep the tractor from rolling over because papers would just would list down you know there'd be lists in the newspapers of guys killed plowing on their old ferguson tractors and so that was that 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 whole setup with the top link design and stuff on the three point on a ford and ford tractor is changed everything and, and you know, it says something when we're still using it today. But, uh, so I just, you know, I wanted to share these things with you and let you see what we, what we have or, and what they are. And, and I, I've been told by some people that I seem pretty anti in series four tractor. And I, I, I'll be honest with you, they're not my favorite tractors. They're definitely the wrong color. They should be orange, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything. But I have nothing personally against them. I think they're good tractors. I think they do, they they serve their purpose well, and they did a lot for farming. Um, I think you know back in the day, and even still today, somewhat everybody and their dog has one, and that says something. When this tractor here is 70, 60, 70 years old, and they're still being used, I mean, you can still go to a farmstead and find an H or an M or farm all and yeah they're still being used but they're not as useful as this because they don't have three point and they don't have the hydraulics and, and stuff you have the old belly pump on it on a farm all and stuff great for pulling a hay wagon not so great for going out and mowing so but that's just some of the things i wanted to go over with you guys about the n-series tractor and i just wanted to say you know thank you guys for coming and watching another episode of crazy d's equipment and if you are looking for an 8 in 9 in we have a few on the lot right now so i'd be more glad to set you up with one um but otherwise please subscribe please like and please continue watching our videos we highly appreciate it thank you guys